what can the Western powers basically do in order to influence in a positive way Egypt towards democratic procedures more than to military guardianship? I mean, I think Egypt is a, it's a very big and a very complicated country with this very deep sort of uh, uh, domestic uh, political divisions. And so international actors are not going to be able to dictate the course of Egyptian politics. I think what the most that they can do is to communicate to the Egyptian leadership a deep discomfort about the direction of the country and to communicate to them that if they really want to be seen as responsible leadership, that there are things that they're going to have to do in terms of taking democratic procedures seriously, in terms of uh, implementing uh, human rights uh, procedures seriously. But that is a long-term perspective. Right now, the Egyptian leadership is focused on domestic politics. It uh, feels a little bit under an existential threat from the Brotherhood. So they're not going to do exactly what the international community tells them to do. Over the long term, if they want full reintegration, they're going to have to take these concerns more seriously, and that's the most that can be expected.